Hi guys, Nima Dean here. Uh, I've updated this video. I went ahead and re-edited a new one this morning. I was working around in it and I wanted to make some changes just to show you uh, some of the things that I kind of probably did wrong in the first one, but this will this bring us up to date. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to go through this pretty quick. I'm going to use the uh, character uh, folder down inside the MMO. This is a clean empty kit. There's really nothing in it. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder we'll call it uh, whatever <laughs> you want to call for your name and then we're going to go down in there, let's make three folders in the bottom there we're going to make uh, animation uh, let's make mats and let's make modular Oops, I always have trouble spelling modular anyway alright once this is done what we're You've, this is already assumed you've broken up your character and it's ready to bring in regardless of how you did it that's fine uh, whatever program so we're going to import our character here's mine I've already broke I already broken it up and I already got it set up to import so we're going to bring it in uh, we're going to bring in the skeleton the mesh let's turn off materials we don't really need materials and make sure you have TAO set for there alright let's just bring this on in should come in pretty quick And this is this will give us uh, uh, the model will be gray, and I wanted to keep it that way just to make sure everything's working because the uh, the base model, the everything we're building on, should not show up once we edit it with the pieces. So if we leave it gray, we'll know that it's working for sure. All right, there it is. There's our three pieces that we needed, which is the skeleton mesh, the physical assets, and the skeleton. So those are good. We can just save those real quick. Okay, so we're going to be basing all of our stuff off of this model right here. Let me open it up real quick. As you can see, it's great. So this is the one we're going to connect to. And come on now, out of the way. So let's go down in our animations. And animations next. Let's import some animations for it. Wherever you get your animations. I'm going to do one first, just so you can see. All right, let's bring in an idle. Here's where you're going to choose the skeleton. We're going to link it to that main skeleton. Uh, everything else is default and just import that in. I'm going to pause it here and I'll grab a few more real quick. Alright, I just grabbed three real quick. That's just to show you. Uh, we noticed that they're all... We, I didn't put any uh, materials on them. So they're all grayed out. That's good. We'll know that that is working when we import the other ones. Alright, now let's go over and we're going to grab our modular part so that we've broken up. That these should be broken up. And we're simply going to import there go up to your modular parts. I'm going to grab them all. Just grab them all at once. Open them up. Now here we want to link it to the skeleton. So we're going to pick our skeleton. This is the one we just imported. Click that. Uh, TO is fine. Let's close that up. We can gra grab the material on this one. And then we're going to import all. No animations. No animations. These are just empty skeletons. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, empty pieces. Alright. Let's import all. I'll pause that while that is uh, bringing it in. Alright, we're done importing it. It's compiled the shaders and as you can see now we have material applied to all of our uh, body pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move these over into the mats folder that we made earlier. And what this does is it just makes it a little more tidy. And let's move the rest of these real quick. That way we can see what's going on. It's not as um, messy. As you'll see, as you start to get more stuff in here, it's really going to get packed. So we got to get a good uh, folder structure going, and, and use. <laughs> I see that O is a little bit big. That's right. All right. So that just leaves us the skeletal mesh and the physical asset of each one, because we linked it to. Remember, we linked it to the first uh, skeletal mesh we brought in. So that's what we want. All right. I'm just going to target all these real quick, and we're going to save them, and not delete. <laughs> save. There we go. Alright, now we have everything in the kit that we need to work with. So let's go to our blueprints. Remember that we've did this in a video before. We're going to go down here to modular player. Remember, modular player character. Right click, make a copy of that. I'm going to call it modular uh, whatever you want to call it. 
then we're going to open that up and edit it. Here's where we're going to put on our pieces. We're going to put all our pieces together. Remember, it's going to inherit from here. So I'm just going to grab our chest piece, and it applied the texture for that. All right, let's, and we're going to go through here and just grab them all. Um, I'll pause that while I do it real quick. All right, I went through and uh, applied all the pieces that we've broken up. And you may have to find your material. It doesn't load them all the time, but just find the material. Be sure or you can go back and look at what you imported and find that. We're going to compile that. Save that off. And now let's go into viewport and you can see what we got going on here. All right, there's our character. We haven't done any animation yet, but we haven't we haven't put it together. So we can just make sure that's saved. Let's close this off. Now we're going to do the animation part. So we'll go down to his folder. Remember, go down there. We're going to find the guy animation. I kind of cleaned his folder up, moved the mats over. So that may be something you want to do. Just so see how it's easier to find stuff. We're going to go to guy animation. Right click it. Retarget. Duplicate. Got to take off this but show compatible. Uncheck that. We're gonna, there should be our target. There it is. Notice it, this is the gray one. So it has no materials. So we know that's the full gray one the first one we imported. We're going to select it and then it's going to put it all in this folder which we can open. Alright, there's our there's the um, first model skeleton we imported. See it's all gray. And it has the old animations tied to it so we would have to change those. So you go down in your animograph and you would just follow the example. It's in the other one and you can look it up online. So we're going to go in here basically you would just reset your animations that are for this guy. So we would find our idle. Let's turn off this so you can see it. Our walk and our running. These are the animations I pulled down for him. And you can see his shoulders ain't pulled back and he looks a lot smoother. There we go. Alright, that's good. Let's save that. And I just realized I edited. Did I edit the right one? All right, let's make sure we're in. Yeah. Okay. We, this is guy copy. This is where all the copies of them. All right. So we did. Okay. I'm gonna rename that. Or you can rename it. I'll just leave that for now. And here's the copies of the original animations that were in the kit that you'll have to go in and replace. And we talked about this earlier. You'll want um, a copy of all these. And then you would replace your, um, uh, let's see, where these blend spaces. When you edit, it's going to change these out. And then once you have all your animations replaced, remember you'd have to import. I, I don't have them all imported here, but you would get them all in. And then you would uh, replace these. And then you can delete these old copies once you replace them. Just remember to keep the blend spaces and the original three pieces. Just anything with copy except for the blend spaces and whatever you did for combat, like if you did punching, if you brought in a punching, you would go in here and uh, you would target it, right click and create the montage. We, you saw that or, um, on the other video. Alright, so now let's go ahead and go to our blueprints and we're going to find, this is the modular we just made. Let's open it up and we're going to go over double check that okay everything there now we're going to set the animations that we just created remember it's guy animation copy i didn't change the name but you would change the name so there's guy animation copy compile it save it just want to show you in the viewport real quick so the chest piece is going to become animated and this is what you'll see it's going to look funny but it's remember these are uh parented under this or the child of it and then the chest is animated and these are going to follow suit. That's the way it shows in his, 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 in his example so we'll leave it that way. That seems to be working pretty good. Alright. So we've, we've imported the character. We've put the pieces in. We know the gray one is, was the original one we brought in right here. And we linked all the animations. Now if everything works he should come in in color. So let's go back to the blueprints. We're going to go to MMO modes and we got to set our default pawn. The default pawn would be the new one we just made. Alright, here's the new one. We compile it and save. 
right. Let's make sure we're in the okay, let's hit play. Yeah, I was working through this morning and it and, and I think it uh, looks a lot better. There we go. As you can see we got our character in here. So we know it's not the gray one, so we know the actual pieces are showing. And you can actually see just a little bit of the seam where they're being cut. Um, that might be something we have to do when we render stuff out to get rid of it. Alright, so we got our character in. You know, I'd have to change the other animations, but there we go. Alright, I just wanted to update that video. And... Uh, let you see it a little a better workflow I did a clean kit we just got 4.11 so that's all gonna have to be ported over there anyway so we'll uh, stop the video here I'll probably do another one for 4.11 just to test it and see and if you have any questions be sure to post in the link below alright guys talk with you later